Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. In this video here, I'm going to show you how we can create a requirements file for our Python applications and projects. So we'll basically just need to pip install a module, run a command, and then it will generate a requirements file for our current uh, directory or directory that we specify to that command. So in one of the previous videos, I showed you guys how we can create a web applications with Streamlit and Python. Right now, I'm going to show you how we can get a requirements file for this project so we can upload it to a GitHub and also so we can deploy it um, with Streamlit. First of all, we're going to open a new terminal uh, up here at the top. We are going to open a new terminal. We'll get it down here at the bottom. Right now we are in the current directory, but if you're not in that, you will basically just need to specify it with the command. But first of all, we're just going to pip install the module that we need. So the module that we need to pip install is called pip rex. So we basically just type that in. So pip rex for requirements. And then we just pip install that. I already have it on my computer, but now we actually just have it. We can go inside our working directory and then just call this command and it will generate a requirements file for us. So again, we just run it pip rex. And now we just, after this command here, we can specify the working directory, but right now I'm already inside the working directory. So we can just directly run the command. So I'm just going to hit enter and now it should be able to go in and generate a requirements files. Uh, as we can see up here at the top. So for this application here and this project that we have created, we need NumPy, Pandas and Streamlit. And it also specifies what version we are using. So this is really useful if you're creating some large applications, you're not 100% sure like all the different uh, like modules and frameworks that you're working with and what is actually like, necessary to be able to run your apps and Python scripts. Then you can just directly go in and use this module, run a single command and it will generate a requirements file for you. And then you can upload it to your GitHub repository. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, I hope you find this command very useful and then it will save you a lot of time and effort in the future when you're going to create these requirements files because we actually like work with that a lot, especially when we're actually like uploading our GitHub repositories and all those different kind of things. It is just impossible to like generate these requirements files by yourself uh, where you need to like know all the different kind of frameworks, modules, and also versions. So please remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under this video and also like this video if you like the content and you want more in the future. I also have computer vision tutorials and deep learning tutorials here on the channel. So if you're interested in one of those, I'll link to one of them up here or else I'll see you next video guys. Bye for now.